So you want to create something like this. Today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I do that. If you didn't know, in order to create these pictures, I set my camera to a high burst, so it basically creates certain frames. And so, there's about 60 frames per second, 60 pictures, um, 120 frames per second would be 120 pictures per second, 60 pictures per second, or if you want to do 30 frames per second, 30 pictures per second. So you're gonna import your pictures. I adjusted my pictures color grading in Lightroom and it's gonna show up as some missing files into, see it says missing 12 frames, we're just gonna press okay. We're gonna remove the part where it uh, shows the missing frames. Fit, so right here, if you have any parts that um, don't line up with the sequence, so right here, we're going to press Control shift d it's going to split the clip, go all the way to where it ends, which is around here. Control shift d delete, move that over there so it follows up. I'm going to play this through real quick and render it out. See right there, we got a spot. Control shift d move that, move that. Boom, boom, and then I'm gonna render this out. See, we've got some spots right there. Okay, so we're gonna remove the rest of this part, and then that should be good. We're gonna export this, but first, before we export it, we're gonna go to composition settings. My handy dandy book. Go to technicalities real quick. We're gonna make this the size of Instagram stories, so it's gonna be a reel. I'm gonna do 2160 by 3840. Nine by 16, block ratio, perfect. And scale this down to 50. I'm gonna copy these settings. Scale, 50, paste, paste on all those clips. Now they're matching the size. It's not too big of a file. We're going to export this. Add to Adobe Media and Core Q. So we're going to press this. We're going to go to desktop. We're going to export it to desktop or wherever folder you want to export it to. Name your folder or name your file. I'm going to name it Shutter Video. Press that. It's going to start rendering for you. taking for a while to export this <sighs> and it's only like three or four seconds to be honest so four seconds 30 times 4 120 pictures now we're gonna open up Premiere Pro and this is when we're gonna utilize a little bit of the editing make it a little bit easier so we're gonna import your shutter video it's gonna import you're gonna bring it in your timeline sequence. You have it right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow this down. I'm gonna do 50%. And now, what we wanna do, as you can see right here, now we're gonna add some effects. So from my previous video, I was going over overlays. And if you guys haven't checked that out, you guys should check out my top three effects. Um, I use in my music videos, so we're going to implement that with this video. We're going to go to overlays, films, we're going to utilize some of these uh, overlays. So we're going to import them in here, check this out, and we're going to scale this up, and then we're going to go to vivid light, actually we'll do difference. I'm going to render this out real quick. First overlay has been implemented as you can see, it has that little effect. Add some more. I'm 
pin light. I'm gonna copy these by pressing Alt, which is duplicating it. We're not gonna move it, just so. Alt, press, and then move. So, that's something like that. It's pretty dope. Just like that. And you can even, what you can do too, is you can add some reverse effects. So we're gonna copy this. Paste. Speed duration, reverse speed. And then we're gonna copy this again, paste. So it's gonna go back and forth. We're gonna render this out. We just implemented that little reverse right there. You can slow down certain parts of the clip that you wanna emphasize a little bit more on. And so yeah, that's basically how you create that effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment and I will be sure to reply to them. And yeah, stay tuned for next week's video. Peace.